Hey, YouTube, go home. You're drunk. Again. You see, what's happened to me today, I uploaded a video on my geek channel, which is primarily comic book reviews and action figure unboxings. It's all really geek related. And the channel itself is like 99% completely G-rated or more. For some reason, YouTube was like, hey, guess what? The video you uploaded today, though, that one there. No, we're not going to let you make any money off that one. I get it. I'm not a big YouTuber, and I probably wouldn't have made that much money off it in the first place. However, I, I don't have the ability to make money off it now. The, the option, the chance of making money off that video is now gone. Let me explain. Ever since the Adpocalypse, the YouTube atmosphere, the landscape of YouTube has changed drastically. Because YouTube's major advertisers all yanked their funding and YouTube is like, damn, that is a ton of money we lost and potentially more we could be losing. We need to figure this out to make sure it doesn't happen again. So they put into play certain things to try and stave that off from happening and to show advertisers, no, 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 it's okay. It's safe. You can come back. There's no reason to fuss. Just come on back. We're safe. Now, one of the things that they've implemented is this automatic flagging system, or they've changed it at the very least because videos all across YouTube from G-rated content creators are being flagged as not advertiser friendly, not suitable for ads on them. And sometimes they'll say, well, it's shocking content or it's this or it's that. Always a load of tripe, always a load of BS. I'm talking about the false flagged ones. There are ones that probably shouldn't be monetized. I get that, I support that. However, a lot of really good content creators are being yanked up in the dragnet. You wanna go fishing for tuna? Go fishing for tuna. However, when you catch a killer whale, release it. You understand? Now, today, they caught a killer whale. Nah, killer whale for me is a beluga. No, I'm not fat enough to be a beluga. They caught something in the net they probably weren't supposed to catch in the net. That's basically it. Now, Comic Talk is a show that I do once a week on Fridays where I just talk about comics. It's a fairly big production for me. It takes about four to five hours to put it together. There's a lot of screenshots. There's just a lot of editing that goes into it. And they decided that it was not monetizer. It wasn't advertiser friendly. I was like, well, crap. So I go to the video and they're like, all right, listen, this is not advertiser friendly, but you can uh, request a review of that video, which means you click the button and it sends a message to someone that they're, you get some real human eyes looking on your video to decide whether that video is actually advertiser friendly or not. To go, wait a minute, did the dragnet make a mistake? That's basically it. However, here lies the problem, the catch 22. The proverbial fart in the elevator, if you'll stay with me now, is that you need to have at least a thousand channel views, a thousand video views, I'm sorry, in a week for them to even think about looking at your video. That means a lot of smaller content creators are not going to even have their videos paid attention to. There ain't a hope in hell, ain't a chance until hell freezes over of that video ever even being eligible for monetization. So. They've got the you've got the sting of being told your video is offensive to advertisers. That the, the just the sting of that is a really horrible thing. Like oh really? It's not what the sting of that is is painful. But then you also have the pain in the butt of going wait a minute. I'm a small YouTube content creator, and YouTube has basically just said I'm not important enough to really take care of. I've been loading content on their site for like three years, faithfully, and I, I'm not even, I can't even have my stuff looked at. What the bloody heck? Basically what I'm saying is this whole way of dealing with videos that might actually not be advertiser friendly and then having a whole bunch of false flags go up on G-rated videos and then not having any way for the smaller content creators to really address the situation tells the smaller YouTube content creators that they are not important. You don't exist. 
And that's horrible for a number of reasons. For one, don't you realize that every large YouTube content creator started as a very small content creator at one point? They weren't born big. That's like saying, hey, I was born as an adult, all right? I got hairy chest and hairy armpits from the day I was born. You understand? It doesn't work that way. You have to build your channel up. A lot of these content creators are going to go away because they're going to be discouraged because YouTube is only catering to the fat cats. And by that, I mean YouTube is apparently only really going to pay attention to the people who keep the lights on, who pay the bills. And I get that. You have to look after the people that bring in the dough. I understand that. Nothing wrong with that. But there needs to be something, something for smaller content creators or fix your flag system. Now I went over my tags, there's nothing in my tags or in my video description or even that I'm saying in the video that could be possibly construed as unadvertiser friendly. There's nothing political, there's nothing that people would find offensive unless people are offended by Superman and Batman and the Justice League. There is nothing that would make that video unmonetizer friendly. And the point is, this is a principle. When you tell the smaller content creators they're not important, that's a bad thing. So, I don't have an answer for it. I don't work at Google. I don't know how the algorithm that catches the naughty videos, the offensive, unadvertiser free content works. I have no idea. I just know that it's definitely not working because it flagged one of mine that definitely is advertiser friendly on every single level. It deals with superheroes for Pete's sake. I mean, kids might actually look that stuff up and enjoy the video. So it's completely advertiser friendly. I think we're dealing with something that is not going to go away, at least anytime soon. And it's going to affect a lot of content creators. And we're going to see possibly some of the best content creators the world has ever seen go away and not exist. That's a bad thing, right? Can we all agree? That's a bad thing. It would have been bad if prank versus prank never existed. It would have been possibly also a bad thing if you're a McJuggernuggets fan, if he didn't have the chance to exist. I watch Kid Behind a Camera. I'm glad he's there and he exists and it would have been sad if he didn't. There's a whole plethora of channels. You name whatever channel you watch that has a large subscriber number. Philly DeFranco, Miranda Sings, H3H3, Boogie2988. Angry Grandpa, they might not be here if they had to deal with the kind of stuff that we have to deal with. Anyway, that's my rant. It happened today. It's my rant. I'm sticking to it. Sorry it's so angry. I just, it's the principle of the matter. You, you, do you get that? It's the, it's the principle. I know I'm not going to make any money, but the principle is there's no way for me to false flag my videos, get them unfalse flagged, and I feel that's wrong. And I feel like when you tell people that are small that they're not important, they're going to feel smaller and they're going to go away. Maybe I won't, but you don't know who will. Anyway, that's the end of the video. That's my rant. I'm sticking to it and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.